हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अंकित कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एजुकेशन सर्किट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशंस वट एवर एग्जामिनेशन यू आर गोइंग टू फेस लाइक एफ कैट एन डी ए सी डी एस एंड एनी अदर एग्जामिनेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ स्टेटिक जी के एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो से दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ साइंस पोर्शन ओके and topic is scientific instruments questions from this topic are often asked in every competitive examination every year and especially in fcat questions related to such topics are often asked okay this is very easy and short topic this is very easy to prepare this will take very less time to prepare and it will give you free marks okay you don't need to put more efforts for preparing this topic so you can easily score marks from this topic this is a scoring topic okay so let's start and before starting don't forget to click on subscribe button and active all notifications by clicking on bell icon so you can get all upcoming most important videos related to most important study material for your written examinations and techniques and planning to perform well in all tests of your ssb so you can perform well and clear your written examination and ssb in your first attempt okay and join telegram group also because we keep on providing most important study material and we conduct quiz there daily link of telegram is given in the description box below okay let's start see there is a lot of scientific instruments which we use in our daily life a lot and we are going to cover very very important instruments only from which questions are asked in your examinations and in the end i will also tell you if question doesn't come from the instruments which we are going to cover so despite of it how will you get to know the right answer your question will not be missed you will get complete 3 or 4 marks jitne bhi number ka wo question hoga okay and we will cover all the instruments category wise like first we will cover all the instruments related to electricity which measure electric quantities then instruments related to water and then instruments related to medical field okay first one is ammeter ammeter is used to measure electricity which we use in our home in daily life in our home office company etc and the unit of current is ampere okay you can see on the scale of it there is milli ampere right so it gives reading in milli ampere and for memorizing it you can relate ammeter with ampere okay from ampere you can take am and there is am right so am and ampere both are common so you can easily memorize it okay ammeter is used to measure current which we use in our daily life right let's move on and voltmeter is used to measure voltage which we use in our daily life in electricity in electric circuit boards etc whatever electric equipments and devices we use in our daily life in our home so there is voltage applied to the circuit so for measuring this voltage difference we use voltmeter okay you can see on the scale here the unit of voltage is volt and it gives reading in voltage right let's move on next is dynamo dynamo is used to measure force movement of force or power okay it used to measure torque it measures physical quantity and galvanometer is used to measure very minute current flowing in electric circuits okay in wire or in electric circuits see ammeter is used to measure electricity in milli ampere or more than milli ampere in ampere but galvanometer is used to measure very minute current okay next is electroscope electroscope is used to measure presence of charge this is electroscope as you are seeing in this picture and we apply charge there and there is movement of this gold plate there is little gold plate and if there is positive charge so it is being repelled so there is movement in this plate and whatever amount of charge is present there so it will be more reflected there will be more displacement and it will be measured by this scale right so this way we measure presence of electric charge in one particular field by using electroscope and you can memorize it by using electro electro means related to electricity so we use it for measuring electric charge okay let's move on next is cyclotron cyclotron is used to accelerate the speed of particle like proton electron this is the source of proton you can see in the center and this is the high speed proton beam right next is rectifier rectifier is used to convert 
alternating current which we use in our daily life in our circuit boards and in electrical devices so this current is alternating current as you can see in this picture it is as input and this is output right so we convert this current into direct current in this waveform it keeps on changing but in this waveform it is not changing from positive to negative all the cycles are positive okay so rectifier is used to rectify alternating current into dc current this is also called direct current right so these are the most important instruments related to measurement of electrical quantities now let's see most important instruments related to sound measurement first one is audio meter audio meter is used to measure the ability of hearing okay means hearing power it is used to measure hearing power we wear this headphone and then we measure that up to how much intensity we can hear okay and it is easy to memorize you can see this word audio meter so you can take audio from this word audio means related to voice okay so it is measuring our capability of hearing the sound next is audio phone audio phone is used to improve imperfect sense of hearing okay if somebody is not able to hear properly so it is used to improve it so this person can hear perfectly right and microphone we use this word a lot in our daily life and we use microphones also a lot in our daily life microphone which converts audio means sound signals into electrical signals and it is also used to amplify our voice okay we can also say mic which we use in our daily life and it is like this it is used by singers and by radio jockey in fm centers and radio centers etc next is phonograph phonograph is a device which is used for mechanical recording and reproduction of sound okay it is also called gramophone this is old era instrument in old era it used to be used a lot there is a disc and this is the lens which is connected to this disc and as it is connected so this disc keeps on rotating it keeps on moving so these are the instruments related to audio means voice means sound okay now we are going to cover instruments which are used for seeing so first one is microscope microscope is used to see particles which are very less in volume in size okay so it is especially used in labs in testing labs in medical field like blood testing lab urine testing lab etc so doctors see the things very closely by using it okay and you all are aware about it right this is not new one next is binocular binocular is used for seeing objects which are far from us so it can zoom in and it helps us in seeing this object which is situated very far from us so it gives very clear view of it next is periscope periscope is used for seeing outside view by being covered okay like if you are in water and if you want to see outside view so you can use periscope it is especially used in submarines when submarine is under water so by using it we can see outside view at the level of sea and periscope is also used a lot in tanks in military tanks when soldiers are inside military tanks so how they see outside view they see by using periscope this is used at large scale in military right this is very important and next is telescope telescope is used to see objects which are located very far from us like sun moon stars satellites etc so these are the instruments which are used to see objects okay now we are going to cover objects which are related to temperature means measurement of temperature so first one is thermometer thermometer is used to measure our temperature our body temperature when you go to doctor so doctor put this thermometer in our mouth below the tongue and measures the temperature of our body right so thermometer is used to measure our body temperature and pyrometer is used to measure high temperature okay like during coronavirus you may have seen this is being used a lot at metro stations railway stations and before entering into any building so when we go to enter our temperature is measured okay so there is one device in their hand so what is it it is pyrometer and calorimeter is used to measure heat of chemical reaction okay when a chemical reaction takes place so it will generate heat so it measures this heat okay so calorimeter is used to measure heat in which unit we measure heat it is in calorie okay so that is why this name is given calorie meter and calorimeter see calorimeter is used to measure the power of absorption of a solution color of spectrum of various kind of spectrums okay 
so these were the instruments which are used to measure things related to temperature now let's see instruments which are used to measure quantities related to water okay so first one is hydrometer and hydrometer is used to measure relative density of liquid right and next one is hygrometer hygrometer is used to measure humidity okay presence of water vapor in soil and in air next is lactometer lactometer is used to measure purity of milk okay in this flask we fill milk and this is lactometer which floats in the milk so this scale gives the purity of milk next is viscometer and viscometer is used to measure viscosity of liquid right in this flask we fill liquid and it measures the viscosity of that particular liquid and fathometer is used to measure depth of sea okay and it is also used to measure height of one particular location from the level of sea and hygrophone converts the biological sounds of animals and fishes in the sea into the electric sounds so when navy is deployed in the sea so they get to know presence of any fish and any object in the water right so these were the instruments which are used to measure quantities related to water now we are going to see other instruments which are used to measure other quantities first one is altimeter altimeter is used to measure altitude okay like altitude of an aeroplane and helicopter etc and anemometer anemometer is used to measure direction of wind and speed of wind okay and radar radar is used to measure the location speed and angle of a moving object okay and it is being used a lot in defense forces this is the part of air defense okay so by using radar we can get to know the presence of any enemy aircraft in our boundary right so radar is used for this purpose and this is very important a spectrometer is used to measure spectral quantities spectral things of physical phenomena like they separate molecules particles on the basis of their volume and mass etc and seismograph is used to measure intensity of earthquake okay this is the scale when there is earthquake so this ball moves and it marks the waveform and uh, from this waveform we get to know the intensity of earthquake next is stethoscope and it is used to hear our heartbeat and it is used by doctors you may have seen when you go to doctor so they check heartbeat and sound which is being created by your heart and lungs etc and spigmo manometer is used to measure blood pressure okay it is also used by doctors when you go to doctor by tying it to our arm and then they measure our blood pressure okay and bolometer is used to detect radiation and particles in sunlight next is barometer and barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure and sextant is an instrument which is used to measure the angle of sun moon stars from horizon from a level and it is used in ships majorly and photometer is a device to measure electromagnetic radiation right an accumulator is a device which accepts energy stores energy and then releases the energy so it is basically used to store energy and udiometer is used to measure changes in volume of gases while reaction okay because while reaction there is change in volume of gases so this is used for measuring the change in volume and stroboscope is used to reduce the speed of rotating things okay which are rotating in circular fashion so by using it we can reduce the speed of that particular thing like disk and next and last one is tachometer tachometer is used to measure rotation revolution like rotation of a motor okay rpm how many rotations it is taking per minute or per second right so these are the most important scientific instruments which are often asked in your competitive examinations and if question is not directly from these scientific instruments so these instruments will be in the options okay you will definitely see two to three instruments in the options of four instruments so by using elimination method you can easily get to know your right answer okay like in option there are thermometer barometer and periscope so you will get to know that these three instruments are not the answer of this question so fourth one will be the answer of your question okay and this is very short topic and easy to prepare i hope this video would have been very very informative for you and if you feel this is informative for you so please like it and share it with your friends and for getting more such important videos related to most important study material 
and techniques to clear SSB interview. So please click on subscribe button and active all notifications by clicking on bell icon so you can get all the videos time to time and do all the very best for your written examinations and SSB and that's all for today. Bye for now.